Hey guys, I am Ben from Sack Sound, and today I'm really, really excited to introduce the new app we have been working on over the past few months called Rises Player. This player works as a standalone app and as a VST free and AU plugin, and it will be the platform for most of our future instruments. Today I'm going to show you how it works and walk you through its features. When you open Rises for the first time, you will see this setup screen. Here you will need to choose the folder where you want to install the samples for all Rises instruments. This can be an external drive. To install a new instrument, click Browse, then the plus button and select the RC file you downloaded from our website. Enter your serial key and that's it, the instrument is now installed. Rises comes with two interface themes, dark mode and light mode. These three sliders on the main tab are dynamic effects applied to the master. You can tweak their parameters by clicking the icon next to each one. Each instrument comes with a set of presets which you can quickly browse from the menu. You can mark your favorite presets and access them easily later. Also, you can add, rename or delete presets and categories to keep everything organized. Rises features six layers that can be used at the same time. Three samplers, two wavetables and one custom sampler. In the samplers, you can change the stretch mode to control playback speed. You can also randomize the sample start position, it changes every time you play a note. To reverse the sample, just click this button. You will also find controls for changing the sample map, a visual ADSR envelope, adjusting the velocity curve, enabling an amp with seven types of drive, and enabling two filters, each with seven types to choose from. The wavetable layers include similar controls to the samplers, but with an additional index knob that lets you scroll through different waveforms within the wavetable, if the instrument includes them. The custom sampler lets you drag in your own samples and combine them with your instruments. When you drop a sample, it will auto-detect the pitch but you can change it manually if needed. If you want to loop the sample, click this button. Each layer can load up to 6 effects simultaneously, and you can choose from 9 different effect types. The effect chain runs left to right. This is the first lot, second, third, and so on up to the sixth. If you want to move an effect module to a different slot, you can copy and paste it. You can enable an arpeggiator per layer. The first graph adjusts the note pitch, the second controls the velocity, and the third sets the note length. To 
play notes in a sequential order, click this button. Rises lets you modulate any parameter using LFOs, MBE, tables, pitch wheel or mod wheel. To assign modulation, just right click any knob or slider and connect it to a modulator. You will see it start moving. To view all modulated parameters, click here. You can also invert the modulation and set a minimum and maximum range.